Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to the second portion of the vlog. And today's portion of the vlog, we're going to be 10 times more productive than we were earlier. Just to give you guys a kind of a recap. Earlier, we were just kind of hanging out with the boys, having a good time last week. We were installing the lift at Mike's shop. But in today's video, we're gonna be working on some cars, getting 10 times more productive, like I said. So we're going to be installing and welding up the flares that I showed you guys in last week's vlog. So if you guys haven't seen last week's vlog, I'll put it somewhere up here. But today is the day I learned how to weld. I'm extremely nervous, but I definitely think this could be a le good learning point and good trait to learn for down the road for anything I wanna work on and weld. But we're gonna have Adrian's dad come down and help us. We're gonna have Casey, of course, come film. And we're gonna also have Ethan from Stan's Quarters getting some shop photo shots, like good, like behind the scenes, progressive shots of the Lexus build. So huge shout out to all those guys coming to help today. Right now we're at Lowe's. I'm gonna get some steel so that we have extra for patching and stuff like that. Um, and I'm just gonna keep you guys posted through when I go in there and hopefully, hopefully I can record. Loaz, everyone's favorite store since quarantine has started. So, I went back to go get a cart due to the fact that I really don't know how big this piece of steel that I'm going to need is. IL3, IL3. Lucy, I'm home! Ah, home sweet home, boys. All right, guys, so the shop is now opened up. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to put the Lexus on the quick jacks and then wait for everyone else to get here and learn how to weld today. That poor bunny, man. He took this whole plastic piece off. Uh, I hit a rabbit this morning and let's just say Bugs Bunny didn't didn't take it very well badge this front 99 hood 98 fenders 98 bumper 95 body say what okay, so now that Casey and Ethan is here and now my father, not and yes, my father-in-law is here. We're gonna start working. Huh? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm the boyfriend-in-law to him. So, all right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take the flapper wheel. We're gonna actually get started on the Lexus. We're gonna take down the paint and the clear coat. So once we get started on welding, we can get an actual clean bead and seal on it. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and use the flapper wheel on all four sides, and then we're gonna have Ethan taking progressive shots the whole time. Let's do it. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah. You a simp, you ain't in my lane, you a lame, bitch, get out my way, out my way. As you guys can see, we practically have the first one tacked on. The big goal for me is I'm probably gonna run 18s. The reason I'm gonna run 18s. Stay, uh, squared is because I want the car to sit lower. Yes, the people usually run 19 and 20s on these builds, but I want to go 18s. I'm probably going to go air suspension. I haven't really decided yet. Yes, I know. I haven't decided yet. Big static guy, but I might go air just because of the VIP build. But Adrian's dad definitely did get this done. So what I'm planning on doing is running 18s and hopefully running better to lift on this one. But as of right now, he's going to work on tacking the slits we made to the actual fender into the flare, and the first one will be done. But first, guys, you said he's static. I thought he was a static boy, but he's gonna be I back. Bags are for groceries. Stop it. Bags are for groceries? Yeah. What is that? That's a Mustang. I don't think that's a Mustang. Actually, it's nothing right now, it's too bright. 40,000 on people, 
on TikTok said that was not a Mustang. It's a Supra. Have you read those comments? No. Supra. Have you read your videos? No. <laughs> Vanilla rice, rice baby. Almost scratched the bumper. I don't care if you put all that stuff on that. If you add mods, that will not prove its performance. Is it loud? Ricer. The exhaust, lol, the wing, tiny ricer boy. Not much though. <laughs> that wing though. You still can't hit 80 miles per hour. The wing adds 500 horsepower. 600. People, people like this ruin the JDM culture. Okay. New crowd killer. I smell rice. I brought the soy sauce and apparently he already got the rice. We ready to go. <laughs> My man. Why are you guys calling your rice acting like they both care? It's their cars. They can do whatever they want with it. They didn't build them for you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Where's he going? He said it. And he's gone. High knees. High knees. Carry on, please. Carry on, please. Boy, quarantine got me out of shit. On my way. On my way. On my way. On my way, on my way, on my way. The whack ass locals say the most, do the least okay. Talk behind my back to my face, ain't a peep okay. But that be outrageous, admit you did the least okay. Step out to the nines, my three piece ain't got a crease okay. It's okay, it's okay. Kill on them, could piece okay. I be damned if I just made my money over B. It's okay. So I bought three brand new parts for the Lex build. Um, right here we have shortened spindles. What, th what those will do is they will give us negative four degrees of camber in the front. And then we also have front upper control arms from Serial 9. So <laughs> we can reach up to about negative 30 degrees of camber in the front with adjustments and stuff like that. Do I need negative 30? Yes. No. But with that being said, it's good to have that allowance of extra if we need it, but I know we won't. And then we also got some well visors that are going to go and block all, they're practically rain guards. So they are from the homie Aaron Esuke. Huge shout out to Aaron and Dumpsville, all the homies at Dumpsville. I will leave his Instagram in this corner right here so you guys can go show all of them and him some love. What is this? What is this? Eat your fucking food. Don't play with your food. No. Oh. <laughs> it is hotter than shit. I, I literally, it's 103. All right, so that does conclude the second portion of today's vlog. I do have a special announcement for you guys, but before that, today we are not recording the back half, the two back flares. We're not doing that today. Uh, unfortunately, I might not even get that on camera. And if I do, I might get it on the G7X. I won't have KC film that one. Uh, we got some stuff to take care of. But I will get you guys an update on that. But uh, yeah, so huge shout out to Casey. Huge shout out to Ethan for getting the shots. Huge shout out to Adrian's dad. Josh came through as well. Huge shout out to Aaron for the new parts. If you guys didn't know, this is also my Stang. If you guys want to go follow my Stang build, I'll leave it right here somewhere. But uh, yeah, I think it's time for the big announcement. All right, guys, so here we are a couple days later. If you guys made it to the end of the vlog, I do appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't film this vlog how we wanted to. We wanted everyone to be at the shop. We wanted the lift installed. We wanted to bring my FRS there and have it under the lift. But unfortunately, due to COVID-19 and making sure everyone stays safe and healthy, we couldn't do that. But I decided to come home and film the vlog, the rest of the vlog for you guys. Um, also, I do apologize. The vlog's kind of all over the place. In the beginning of the vlog, we were installing a four post lift. At the end of the vlog, we were working on welding Lexus flares. So I do apologize for that. But the title of the video is true. At the age of 22 years old, I am moving into a warehouse to continue my dreams and working on cars and growing, growing as an overall person. Um, am I doing this alone? No. So I would like to thank and give a huge shout out to one of my closest friends. His name is Mike Hodges. For those of you that don't know Mike, I met Mike three or four years ago and I wanted him to vinyl wrap my car. Mike owns his own business called Revive Wraps and it turned into him wrapping my car three to four years later to becoming one of my closest friends, role models and mentors. So without Mike, none of this would be possible and I just would like to say thank you to him. So with that being said, these vlogs are 
become greater with quality, the build, it's not gonna stop. It's just gonna keep going, we're gonna grow, and I wouldn't be able to do it without my friends, family, Mike, or you guys. So huge shout out to Mike, huge shout out to you guys, and huge shout out to everyone in this vlog that helped work on the car, work on the lift, all that stuff. But as per usual, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and try to always make a difference. Deuce.